In this video, we will explain how to set a static IP address for your printer. You will connect the PC directly to the printer using an Ethernet cable. In another video, we explain how to set a static IP address for your printer via the router using an Ethernet cable. If you cannot use a network where an IP address is automatically assigned, you can configure the printer by connecting the PC directly to it with an Ethernet cable. By setting a static IP address for the printer in this way, you can operate it in the actual network environment. Although setting a static IP address is not necessary, it is recommended for stable operation. Details might differ by printer model, but the basic steps are similar. 1. Connect an Ethernet cable. 2. Check the IP address. 3. Access the printer from PC. 4. Set a static IP address. 5. Check connectivity with ping command. First, connect an Ethernet cable to your PC. Connect the other end to the back of the printer. Turn on the printer and wait for about 90 seconds. There are panel buttons near where you connected the Ethernet cable. Pressing this button will print the current network information, showing the assigned IP address. The position and shape of the panel button may vary by model. Press the button briefly once. If you can't press the button with your finger, use a pen or similar object. Look for the IP address in the printed information. The notation may vary depending on the model. The IP address can be found under current network status as IP address, under TCP IP as IP address, or under current status as IPv4 address. In any case, make sure the IP address starts with 169.254. If IPv4 address is all zeros, wait a little longer and try printing again. If a static IP address is set but communication is not possible, initialize the network board. If the IP address starts with 169.254, you will be able to access the printer from the PC. Use a web browser to access the printer. Open a web browser and enter the IP address shown on the self print. The screen will display LAN board or link server. Link server may have two different display patterns. Next, we will set the static IP address. When setting a static IP address, you need to disable DHCP and enter the IP address you wish to use. The steps may vary slightly depending on the printer, so we will explain them one by one. Go to the config page and log in. Obtain an IP address automatically under TCP IP is the setting for automatic IP address assignment. To set a static IP address, select use the following IP address. Fill in the desired IP address in the IP address field. Also, Input the subnet mask and default gateway. Click Submit. Then OK. Next, go to the Maintenance tab. Click Save and Reboot. And then click Yes. Click TCP IP under Configuration. Enter the desired IP address in the IP address field. Input the subnet mask and gateway. Uncheck the boxes for DHCP, BootP, and ZeraConfu. Click Save. First, log in. Click on Interface menu in the Printer Settings menu. 
Enter the IP address in the IPv4 address field. Input the subnet mask and default gateway. As you will be using a static IP address, set IPv4 DHCP to off. Click Save. So far, we have configured the settings by connecting the PC directly to the printer using an Ethernet cable. Next, we will explain how to check connectivity after connecting the configured printer to the actual network. Now, perform a connectivity check. Press the Windows key and R simultaneously on your keyboard. Type CMD in the input box and click OK. For example, if you want to use 192.168.3.152, type ping 192.168.3.152. Press the Enter key, and the response status from the printer will be displayed in several lines. If you see a response like this, it means the IP address has been set correctly. That concludes the setup of the static IP address. If you see destination host unreachable, it might mean the settings are wrong. Alternatively, due to the rules of your network, it may not be possible to set a static IP address. Please consult your network administrator about is it allowed to use a static IP address? Which IP addresses are available for use? Is there any overlap with other devices IP addresses? Now, let's create a standard TCP IP port for the label printer's Windows driver. Open Devices and Printers. Click on one of the printers and select Print Server Properties. Go to the Ports tab and click Add Port. Select Standard TCP IP Port. Click New Port, then click Next. Enter the IP address you set and proceed through the wizard until the end. This will allow you to select the port you created in the Printer Drivers Port tab. That concludes how to set a static IP address.